Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create new dove lead from India Mart. So here my objective is that that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of India Mart, automatically a new lead should be created in my new dove account with the help of the details of the lead that we are receiving in our India Mart account. For that, we need to create an automation between India Mart and new dove with the help of Pavli Connect. Pabli Connect runs on two principles that is trigger and action. In this process, my trigger application is going to be India Mart and my action application is going to be Neo Dove. If you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to create new Dove leads from India Mart. So here my objective is that, that whenever a new lead is generated in my India Mart account, automatically a new lead should be created in my Neo Dove account. For that, we need to create an automation between India Mart and Neo Dove with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then you can see Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, we have to click on this top right corner button that is right over here that says create workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as India Mart Automation. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. If you want, you can give a name to your workflow as per your requirement. After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account, from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, we have to click on this drop down arrow right over here. So you can see these are the folders that I've created in my Pabli Connect account. As I want to save this workflow in Automations of India Mart folder, I'm going to select the folder. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder, we are going to click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of India Mart Automation and there are two windows in front of you. One says trigger, another says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we're going to set up our trigger step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. As you want that, that whenever a new lead is generated, with the help of India Mart, automatically a new lead should be created in my new Dove account. For that, over here for our trigger application, we are going to select it as India Mart. So I'm going to select my trigger application as India Mart. I'm going to select India Mart right over here. After that, it is asking for us to choose our trigger event and it is going to be new leads. As over here, after selecting the trigger event, you can see over here it says 24 hours. This is a pulling time right over here. As India Mart is a pulling based application, that this means that whenever India Mart is going to have the new data, it is going to forward the new data to Pabli Connect in every pulling interval, that is in every 24 hours. And if you want to make any changes in this pulling duration, then you can contact us on Pabli Forum. After selecting a trigger application and the trigger event, we have to click on connect in order to connect India Mart with Pabli Connect. Then you can see a new window is going to appear in front of you on which we have to click on add new connection. Over here after clicking on add new connection, you can see it says India Mart CRM API. Over here we have to provide the CRM API and where we're going to find the CRM API from, we have to open our India Mart account for having the access of the CRM API key. So I'm going to open my India Mart account. As you can see that this is my India Mart account. To have the access of the CRM key, we have to click on settings. Then over here, you have to click on account settings right over here. Over here, you can see it says CRM API. We're going to click on the CRM API. Then as I've already generated a CRM key, I have to copy the key from here. But if you have not generated a CRM key, you have to click on generate key right over here. So as I've already generated a key, I'm going to copy this key from here. And after that, I'm going to paste the key right over here. After pasting the CRM key, I'm going to click on save. As you can see that we successfully connected India Mart with Pabli Connect. To have the response of the lead that is generated with the help of India Mart, we are going to click on save and send test request. 
as you can see that a response is received and over here if I'm going to see the response it has all the details such as subject right over here for the unique query ID right over here for the sender state Madhya Pradesh right over here and it has all the details like demo user as the name of the sender right over here for the phone number mobile number for the email as demo at the rate pablitudes.com for the city as bhopal address as bhopal madhya pradesh and it has all the details like the product name right over here for the message as the inquiry message that is right over here so this means that we successfully created a connection between India Mart and Pabli Connect. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here. It is asking for us to choose our action application. In the introduction, I have already told you that our action application is going to be NeoDove. So over here, I am going to select my action application as NeoDove. After that, it is asking for us to select our action event and our action event is going to be create lead as we want that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of India Mart, automatically a new lead should be created in my new DAV account with the help of the details that we are receiving in our India Mart account lead. After selecting our action application and the action event, we are going to click on connect in order to connect Neo DAV with Pabli Connect. As you can see that after click on connect, Pabli Connect is asking for the integration ID. For From where we are going to find this integration ID? For that I am going to open my NeoDAV account. As you can see this is my NeoDAV account right over here. And as we want the integration ID, for that we have to follow the steps which I am going to tell you. For that we have to click on integrations right over here. Then the top right corner you can see it says view active integrations. We are going to click on it. As I have already created an integration, I am going to select the integration that is right over here. But if you have not created an integration, then you you have to create your own integration after that over here you can see it says endpoint over here this is the endpoint right over here and the id is right over here as you can see this is the integration id right over here so i'm going to copy this id from here and in my public connect i'm going to paste the id right over here after that, it is asking for the mobile number, name, email address and other details. Over here, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from a previous step. So we are going to insert the data from a previous step. For that, to click on this field right over here. As you can see, this was the previous step of this automation process. I am going to click on this arrow right over here. And this was the response that was captured in our previous step. Firstly, it is asking for the mobile number. So over here, I am going to search for the mobile number and I am going to map the data for the mobile number. As I map the data right over here, the data has now become dynamic. That means every time a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here is going to be updated. After that, it is asking for the name. What we are going to do is we are going to map the data again. Click right over here. Over here, I am going to search for the name. So I am going to search for the name right over here. And I am going to map the data for the name right over here. Next, it is asking for the email address. We are going to map the data for the email address as well. So I am going to map the data for the email address that is right over here. After mapping the data for the email address, I am going to skip the part for the other detail. But if you want, you can map the data over here according to your requirement by following the format given right here below in the help desk. So as I have completed mapping all the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means every time a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here in the fields of where we have mapped the data is going to be updated. After filling all the details, I am going to click on save and send test request. As you can see right over here, a response is received and in the place of response, it says, okay, that means this is a positive response. Now I'm going to open my NeoDub account and I'm going to check whether a new lead is created in my NeoDub account or not. For that, I'm going to open my NeoDub account. I'm going to refresh the page. And yes, as you can see right over here, a new lead is created. I'm going to open this lead from here. As you can see for the name, it says demo user for the mobile number, mobile number for the email as demo at the rate pabliktudes.com. So this means that we successfully created an automation between India Mart and NeoDove with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I wanted that, that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of India Mart, automatically a new lead should be created in my NeoDove account with the help of the details that we are receiving in our India Mart lead. For that, we have created an automation between India Mart and NeoDAV with the help of Pabli Connect. And this is how we set up the automation. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on 
forum.pabdi.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabdi Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.